Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about the ventricles of the heart. We know the right ventricle is not nearly as strong as the left ventricle. Well, why is that? The right heart is pushing blood out of the right ventricle into the pulmonary vasculature. And the normal pressure that it's pushing against is anywhere from about 12 to 20 millimeters of mercury. So your right ventricle really only has about a five pound dumbbell that it's doing dumbbell curls with all day, every day. The left ventricle, on the other hand, is much stronger, it's much beefier, it's even larger than the right ventricle is because it has such thicker muscle, it's so much stronger because the left ventricle is pushing blood out against systemic circulation and the average pressure that it's pushing against is a map of maybe 80 to 90 if we are functioning at a normal blood pressure. So your left ventricle is beefier because it has a 10 pound dumbbell that it is doing dumbbell curls with all day, every day. Now, what about those patients with chronic hypertension? So instead of pushing against a map of 80 to 90, it's pushing against a map of 100, 110, or even 120. So it's got a bigger dumbbell that it is lifting all day, every day. So if I sat here with this 15 pound dumbbell or an even higher map, I've got a 20 pound dumbbell and I do curls with this all day, every day, what's gonna happen to my left bicep here after several weeks, months, years of doing that? I'm gonna have a huge left bicep compared to my right one that's just over here curling my little bitty five pound dumbbell. Well, that's how our patients get left ventricular hypertrophy. So the, the structure of that left ventricle gets huge because it's pushing against that chronic hypertension and beefing up that bicep on the left side. Now let's talk about why we get right heart strain anytime we have, say, a pulmonary embolism or anything that inhibits pulmonary vasculature flow, maybe a sudden increase in pulmonary vascular resistance. Well, if my right bicep has only ever done five pound curls and then all of a sudden something is obstructing pulmonary vasculature flow, so that's a, an increase in the pressure that the right heart is trying to push against, that's like if you suddenly give me this 20 pound dumbbell on the right side. I've never lifted that much ugh, with my right side, so I'm going to strain to try to lift it. So that's why we get right heart strain when we get a big fat saddle PE. So keep that in mind next time you're taking care of your patients. And if you have a patient with left ventricular hypertrophy, that's where it came from. Also, I totally fell over doing my split squats this morning, so I hope your day started better than mine.